In today's video, we will be working on this beautiful, modern, and sophisticated red, white, and blue wall art. So, stick around! You will need a blank canvas, paint brushes, paintable caulk, paints in red, blue, and white. To begin this project, you'll need to take that paintable caulk and some type of tool that can move that caulk around. Begin placing it in strips on your canvas. You'll notice as I'm working down the canvas, I am making each line shorter and shorter. We want to mirror that on both halves of our canvas. Taking that spreading tool, I'm going to work that caulk back and forth leaving a textured pattern behind. You'll see what it looks like there. It's a little difficult to see the white on white, but you can kind of get an idea of what's happening. I'm gonna keep moving this all around the canvas, leaving behind kind of a plastered look, and then I'm gonna let it dry for one hour. Once that caulk is completely dry, it's time to start having fun with all those colors. You'll notice here that I'm just putting one solid line of that blue across the middle of my canvas, and then I just begin working it back and forth, pulling it, and just settling it into that canvas at a random pattern. There's really no rhyme or reason here, no right or wrong. Just lay that color out the way you want it to look. I'm gonna be blending in the white as I move along, and you'll notice that I'm gonna add back and forth with the blue and white, just mixing it all in, getting darker colors as well as lighter colors, adding depth and dimension as I work myself down. The major thing to note here is that I am working that down kind of into a V pattern because we want it to slowly gradiate down to a point at the end of our canvas. Giving you a close-up look, you can see how that paint is drying around all that texture. And this is what's going to give our painting even more dimension. That texture will cause a little bit of shadowing as we move that paint along. And it just adds something special besides a plain, smooth surface. As with any painting, don't forget to get the little edge of that canvas as well. Now we're going to flip that canvas over and do the same process on the other side using our red paint. Again, remember that we're working along mixing the red paint and the white paint at random intervals till you get the desired look you're going for. That probably will be different for everyone, so just have fun and keep working with it until the end result is exactly what you want to see. Once we have a pretty good base going on, it's time to deepen up that center line. I'm putting a little bit more red and blue paint and I'm going to mix it together while it's good and wet. This is going to deepen up that center mark, making our gradient pop a whole lot more. Continue blending those colors and moving them around. 
move quickly while your paint is still wet. These acrylic paints do dry pretty quickly, so you gotta move, move, move. We're gonna bring all of this dark color right down the center of our pattern. This is gonna add just a little bit of red to the blue side, and it will bring a little bit of blue down that red side. Again, this is just giving it a little more dimension. Now it's time to start incorporating our third and lightest color. Always put that lightest color on the very top, that way it'll pop and stand up off of your canvas. And there you have a beautiful, fun, sophisticated, and patriotic wall piece. You can hang this on a wall or set it on a table, such as I have done, whatever your desire. And the good thing about it is you can do the same process with any colors of your choice. I want to thank all of you so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one.